that's new. That's new. It is. I guess no getting it by you guys, huh? No. I always yeah. like to let you know you're being recorded. So also, <laughs> got getting, it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm getting a notification that it's being recorded and I can choose to either leave or continue. Oh. Well, me good. too. <laughs> that's, that's good. Me. Um, okay, so. Good morning <laughs> and welcome to the coffee chat. It is June 12th, flying right along as always. Um, and today it's kind of a little more informal. I do have one, two slides, but um, we're gonna, today we wanted to talk about, cause just got to thinking about, you know, what is the real difference maker for us? Um, and it is accountability. Now nutrition, huge, gotta have that on, you know, um, on point or on track and exercise, our body needs that, we need movement um, and all the other things that go along with that, you know, the sleep and the water and the self-care. Um, but what we don't do those things if we don't have accountability. Um, so we wanna just talk a little bit about what it is, what it is not um, and get your opinion and feedback on it. Um, this is going to help us to better serve you also. So um, we're selfishly doing it too. <laughs> it's like, how can we help you better be, you know, to hold your accountability, to hold you accountable. So if you saw, got the newsletter uh, yesterday, there was a, um, just one definition that I had found, you know, and it's the typical term of what an accountability means. And it's really just somebody like, you know, holding you accountable, for what you said you were going to do and if you don't do it then you know you kind of get a talking to right it's like it's like that parenting um way of thinking that it's what we do to our kids it's what our parents did to us like otherwise uh you know we would never clean up our room we wouldn't get up for school we won't brush our teeth so um you know and that's that's kind of the beginning stages of you know being accountable um but then as we get to become adults, we start having to hold ourselves accountable. So obviously Deb and I don't do the ass kicker gonna berate you if you don't do something types of coaches, you know, we're more loving and allowing you to learn, which is kind of what I wanted to talk about, you know, um, some other ways to think about accountability. Um, before we kind of get real deep into the the topic, um, let me just do quick announcements. Good morning, Linda, welcome. Uh, shoot to do, Ooh. someday I'm gonna learn this. Anyway, um, June 12th, can't believe it, but just, I kept this, um, I was gonna redo the, um, you know, announcements, but this is all still, coming. <laughs> um, the first thing being cookies and creamy, which is in 10 days, that's going to be available and I can't wait. And that's going to be a standard flavor choice. So it's not a seasonal kind of thing. So you can get this, you know, every month you can get this as your normal flavor in a 30 serving bag or the packets. Um, so I'm excited to try that. And um, then also the next coffee chat next weekend, uh, Deb's going to do a presentation on, you know, a healthy pantry and um, just things to think about, uh, which kind of also bring into um, the concepts that we learned in 2B Mindset, like Usum, out of sight, out of mind, and, you know, um, just some other ways to help you stay accountable. Uh, so that's coming next week. And then The Compound Effect is a book that we're going to read in July because we're going to, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit today, but we're going to look at, you know, one thing um, that we want to focus on in July as far as something we want to achieve or a habit we want to create. So that's why I was asking in, in the newsletter to reply to that, to let me know what those things are so I can help hold you accountable. And then the Summer Strong sale is um, going through June. Yeah, we're in June. Um, still $20 off all packs. So if you know somebody who's um, looking to get started with us, this is a really great time, $140 for everything that they need to succeed to get started. So 
And then we got all our other good fun things coming. So in July, the portion fix is gonna get revamped. In July, this 645 is gonna launch. And then if you're a Nutrition Plus member, you might've gotten an email already that is going to give you the option to beta test the interactive bot. So just watch for more announcements for that coming. All right, so I'm just gonna jump into a couple of things on accountability and Deb's gonna share two and then we're gonna open it up for discussion. So accountability, this word really started out more as a, uh, a corporate word. Um, saying, you know, you would establish what your, your milestones are, your benchmarks are, your, the, you know, your sales goals or whatever they are. Um, and you would say them out loud, having someone help you keep on track that would actually make it easier for you. So that um, when you, just that thing, you, the thing you said you were going to do, I'm going to help you stay accountable to that. Um, but accountability is an actionable way to achieve your goals, but not everyone is good at creating those actions, those steps. So that's where an accountability coach can come in. And I, I like this uh, graphic because, you know, we establish what is your goal? What are the options to get you to the goal? What is your reality about what you can and cannot do? You know, um, give you some uh, recommendations on things to do, give you the tools and the resources on how to help you achieve that goal. And then it's really, what will you do? So that's where the accountability becomes like a um, partnership. So, um, and that was the only slide I was able to make. <laughs> so, but um, that just to kind of get you thinking, and I, I, I like the visualization of the graphic. Um, and, you know, the hardest accountability is all about change and, establishing that goal and then figuring out how to achieve that goal and then making that change happen. But the, the hardest part about that is actually acknowledging that you need change um, and then what that is. So, and figuring out what that is. And that's kind of what we're here for, right? Um, but when you look at where you're at and where you want to go, sometimes that gap can be really um, overwhelming. It can cause anxiety. It brings about all those limiting beliefs in the subconscious brain that you know, I'm never going to be able to achieve that. It's too hard. And we freeze, uh, we, the, you know, we, or we fly, we run, um, or we just avoid doing what we need to do and in, in getting into that uncomfortable space of doing those things. Um, and so we want to break it down to one thing, one goal, and we're going to, in July, just focus on that. Um, we've created a healthy, healthy lifestyle. So it's not that we're going to give up everything that we've been doing. Um, we're just going to build on that. And that's what we want to really encourage you to do. You continue doing your, you know, um, drinking your water, showing up for your workouts, um, following your meal plan and doing your self care, showing up in the group. Um, and maybe one of those things is going to be your one thing. Maybe you're not doing that consistently. You're not, staying as accountable as you'd like to on those things and then doing them one day at a time. So we're going to have a, an opportunity for you to check yourself because really you are the only one that can hold you accountable. Um, so then when you check yourself, you think, did I do that, that one thing today? And you can figure out if you didn't or, um, you know, it's like the checks and balances. You want to look at the, how well you did or what you can do different. So it's never a negative thing, it's just acknowledging. And that's that hardest part of that change. So that brings you back to the acknowledging that change has to happen. So the change would be, you know, acknowledging what you could do better or what went well that you could do again. So it's that end of the day, sort of taking stock of how things went. And then I want to introduce accountability conversations. So, um, we can have schedule one-on-ones and it can be just a quick 15 minutes, um, conversation, um, or it can be longer if it needs to be, depending on where you're at and what's going on. But it's really just two questions. What happened in the week or the, in the time since our last accountability conversation? Um, and that just kind of gives you an opportunity to, for some self-awareness to really figure out, you know, and get honest with yourself and just th let the truth come out. 
um, to figure out what happened if you're not making the progress you want. And then the second question is, what's the plan? Um, and then that's where, you know, as a coach, we'll help you figure out, um, but we're gonna allow you to kind of feed, also to figure out for yourself what you need to do. So never going to, um, for myself, going to like, you know, bring the hammer down. It's just a safe space to allow you that self-awareness and also to, you know, figure out yourself what needs to happen to move forward. Um, and if I heard this, um, just I was watching some TED Talks and it's like accountability is a love language. Uh, and if you think about it like that, like if, and especially with our partnership and as your coach, like giving you that um, opportunity to pause, you know, in your progress or lack of progress and just to take the time in a, um, without judgment to figure out what, what happened or what hasn't happened and empowering you to, you know, have that awareness and then also to determine what to do next. Right. That that's love. Like, and then being, and then walking with you on that journey um, in a way that helps you to, um, to learn as you grow. So I really um, would like to set those up with people who are willing to do them accountability conversations. And I think it's just I know in my own personal experience, and I was talking to Deb about this, I think I shared on the live I did in the group, but like the journaling, I wouldn't have done that when I got back from vacation, you know, started that if we weren't doing it in the group. So things that we do in the group, the challenges that we do, um, just kind of help push you to do things that you otherwise might not do. And a big part of that too is, and the difference maker really is, becoming self-aware and having um, a change in mindset. And so that your insides are changing as you're trying to change the outsides. Um, because we, and that's what creates that sustainability. So even just in my experience over the last six and a half years, like I would not be healthy and as happy and, you know, um, as willing. I wouldn't have done the, um, the mindset work, the meditations, the self-care along the way. I, I just started to think, you know, if I hadn't been doing this for the last six and a half years with a group like you, you know, what, what would I have allowed myself not to do? <laughs> and because I'm holding myself accountable because I know we're doing this together. So the group does really ha matter in the, in the community that we've created. Um, and again, there are some of, some of us that are in the back that don't uh, participate in the group very much, but they're still there and they still see us. So um, I'm gonna reach out to them too about having accountability conversations and hoping that we get more activity in the group. Um, Cause I know that that definitely helps me. I see you showing up and uh, it makes me show up. So, um, so that's, what I have to say about accountability and I'm just gonna, like I love Linda is adaptable <laughs> and that must be her card. And mine, I just pulled this when um, I was talking with uh, Karen and I am honest. And that's what accountability has to be. I assess my own strengths and move in integrity. Um, you know, and just, that was the first thing that had to happen when I was in my recovery, you know, and somebody said, you just need to get honest with what alcohol is doing to you. Like what it, you, honest about your drinking, otherwise you're never gonna change your drinking. Like, because I thought I could handle it, you know? And I can't. So honesty, and I'm like, and then we talked about, you know, you have to get, um, you have to be honest. Like, well, how honest? Like, like <laughs> it's like, there's, there's honest, you know? You just need to get honest with yourself. So that's that opportunity in the, at the end of the day to check yourself. So that's what I have to say. I'll let Deb, um, say her piece on accountability and then we'll open it up. Thanks, Elise. Um, my card is I am transforming. Uh, I have the power to change, learn and grow, um, which really hits home about accountability because before I joined Team Beachbody or 
um, Louise's roots, um, it was really hard to change that habit or the bad lifestyle I was um, putting myself through. And um, once I achieved that change in the mindset, um, that's where they learn and growing. Well, in our group, we learn and grow, but that's part of the accountability is you're learning with people and growing with people. And I realized um, the journaling, which I kind of haphazardly been doing, but um, I, I, um, I thrive in groups and I knew this with workout, even when I lived in Valdez or even before that, um, going to college, it was always group fitness. And um, I realized that um, during my journaling, I, it's always been there. And that's where the accountability kind of came in more so is, you know, you, you befriend people and you're gonna be there not only for yourself, but for with them. And that went back to running when I lived in Ketchikan, I was running and I was helping a kid cross country um, run and it was meeting him at five in the morning at his door and running. So it was that accountability again. So innately it's there, um, but to what degree? And is it for me or is it someone else? And that is where the change happened with me and Team Beachbody. It was more for me, but also with other people. So account accountability like Louise says it's a partnership, but it's also a relationship. And it's a relationship of not only yourself, but you're sharing yourself with other people who are accountable too. So you're kind of surrounding yourself with all these people that are accountable for what they're doing, whether it's good or bad. And that's the biggest thing because, you know, I feel like I've been just going through the cracks lately. It was like this past two weeks, it's like I haven't worked out diligently every day and I'm trying to figure out my darn recovery plan with all these calendars on the autumn all year and I'm so close but you know what that's where the grace talking to Louise <laughs> you know the grace to say hey um it's not that I haven't done anything it's growing and changing forward so accountability is making your choices and taking action and that's where the compound effect kind of comes in because that's um, the consistency and taking action and shoot it's a short book but I think it hits home because you got choices and habits and momentum and so with this app and the accountability is you know you're um, tracking your water tracking um, your food your um, workouts and the group that's the accountability you have for yourself. And for me, it had been um, headspace doing meditation every day. So I look forward to it. And then there's a Bible study app that I get to tap into every day. So it's all forms, it's finances, it's that circle of life, seven circles of life. It's accountability for everything you do in your life. So anyways, that's kind of a whole aspect I kind of have I kind of went everywhere but it's just the relationship with it and the partnership I'm like Louise I'm not a brow beater so I hate that I hate standing by watching the uh, soccer of my great niece and this guy was just berating his girl out there and it's like man and she was just nerve-wracked and it was like oh I wouldn't want to be like that <laughs> so, exactly yeah yeah so yeah, that's what I had. Okay, so let's open it up. Um, anybody's thoughts on accountability um, and accountability conversations? Yeah. <laughs> uh, while you're forming some, oh, good morning, Linda. Hey, I'm, I'm kind of awake right now. <laughs> good. <laughs> this is a good topic. You guys must be, uh, have a third eye or something. Because.
is um, I've been slipping on the accountability, meaning I haven't been tracking in my journal. I mean, in my app, <clears throat> but it's been up here and listening to both of you. Um, it's a good thing to get back to tracking because then it's not it's not uh, stuck in there. In other words, it's dumping and your mind is free to do whatever <laughs> anything else you're supposed to be doing. Anyway, but like, the reason why I haven't is because I'm in this euphoria. I have not felt so joy, so much joy and happiness I don't want to get bogged down of doing engineering thinking or being, you know, uh, it's, it's really cool to wake up happy and get to work, even though I, I've been awake since three in the morning, but that's okay. I mean, it's, it's been a switch for me instead of, oh, I gotta go to work, you know, type attitude. And then as soon as I get to work, good morning, Linda, you know, I have not experienced that in all of my working years, the a positive environment and everything. Now, I'm really am good on, on accounting for all of my working time of what I've done. I don't know what my problem is of not continuing that in my program. I'm going, well, I think corporate and uh, you get paid, okay? <laughs> but I need to, I need to uh, add into my mind on, on the self-care and everything, I am paying myself. It's not the greenbacks, but I'm paying for me, and that and it is still more mindset. <laughs> My poor beanie, but that, <clears throat> that's the accountability. Um, another thing, another thing that I realize or why I haven't is that I'm happy where I'm at right now. Even though I say I need to lose 30 more pounds, I look at myself and I'm going, why? Who says I need to learn lose 30 pounds so I can fit in those jeans? You know? And if I can fit in those jeans, who's that for? It dawned upon me, you know? And um, I got my summer clothes out. Oh my gosh. They're big. <laughs> Even though I, I'm, I'm plateauing, but, but they're big. And I'm going, and I... And I like tucking in my shirts because it makes me feel I'm together. I'm not a slob. Anyway, um, I'm going, I like what I, how I look and everything. And so I'm thinking, oh, well, maybe I need to regroup and, and reset some goals here that how do I maintain this and stuff, not keep bounding bouncing my head against the wall that I need to learn that I that I said I want to lose 30 pounds. So I guess that's part of accountability, the thinking portion of it. Um, and like you said, Deb, uh, it, it is a relationship with yourself. And that's a new concept for me because um, I've been taking care of everybody else but me all these years. So anyway, I hope I made some sense. I guess oh. I'll get some more coffee. <laughs> Thank you, Linda, for sharing that. I took some notes. So um, the uh, corporate accountability that we get paid. So that is that, that's that why. That's like, and that's actually your boss is your accountability partner uh, that you don't get to pick, right? And they hold you accountable for the things that you're supposed to do in your day and you get paid. Um, and so that's, 
in your personal accountability, your why is going to be what is your driver? Your why are you doing it? Why should you hold yourself accountable? Like, and you know, and that can always change. Um, and to not think of the accountability or the lifestyle as restrictive, um, it's it should it's to give you that structure, but also the flexibility because we need that in life because life is dynamic. Um, so it's not restrictive, but you can be reflective with it. So I love that Linda is in this space where she has achieved some big milestones with her health and with her weight loss journey and mindset. Um, and it's okay to like, just kind of roll with that for a little bit and appreciate it and enjoy it. Um, and then when you have the accountability conversations, you can say, okay, what's the plan? So, you know, where are you at? Maybe the, your plan has changed, your goals have changed. So, we'll, so let's just make that plan. So um, love it all, Linda, thank you for sharing that. Anyone else got some stuff? <laughs> well, I don't know how much I should be sharing because I haven't been in a very good headspace for a while, but that's why, that's why I joined this group. That's why I do this is for the accountability. Um, and I think I'm kind of a group person in that way too. Um, but I've been struggling, I mean, this year with the COVID and, and my work situation and, and so many things like, like Linda, I feel like maybe I just want to accept where I'm at instead of this constant telling myself, you know, I need to keep losing. <laughs> but I haven't reached the joy part yet. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck in between and I'm not sure I'm like I seem to take so long to make decisions or changes I have all this awareness but I don't have a lot of uh, action one way or the other and I seem to torment myself in the process but that's where I'm at but I'm like I appreciate the having the group. It helps me. It helps me be more honest with myself. It's easier to lie to myself and, and go down a deep hole if I'm just on my own, unattended, and uh, don't have anywhere to sort of go and remind me, um, you know, where I'm at. So I like that. I like that for the group and everybody showing up and that keeps me going. I mean, I wouldn't be dragging my ass down the basement at like 930 last night to, to get my workout in if it's, you know, if it was just up to me all by myself. I'd be like, ah, and then one day turns into two days into like three days. But anyways, I appreciate all of you for that. Um, I don't know. That's probably, I shouldn't probably say any more. It'll turn into a counseling session. <laughs> you know, and that's okay. And that could be part of the accountability conversation is to like, just kind of weed out some of those things. Um, you mentioned that you haven't found the joy and, you know, I think we all get into those, those places in our lives. Um, I know I've been there many times and, um, and I know you've not been like into the journaling quite yet. I would encourage you to make that your one thing for next week. Um, and because we're, we're going into relationships. So if you listen to my live um, and I mentioned it in the newsletter too, maybe the relationship that you want to journal about is your relationship with self um, and really look at, ask the questions about that um, because and I've had to do that myself in, in recovery. It's um, to look at my own self instead of looking out here um, for the answers and, and, and allowing my mind, my perspective to shift. Like one of my sponsor told me, you know, you need to see yourself the way other people see you um, because we are so critical in ourselves and our, you know, our husbands, our uh, loved ones love us. They think we're great. You know, your um, our coworkers. You know, you're always so positive or happy, or you're there. Are you always there for me? You know, we need to take those things in, um, and then definitely 
like with the accountability, um, as far as just showing up, like we, if we're, if you're not in this group environment or in a community or have a, an accountability partner, you know, we can just be behind the scenes saying we're fine, uh, which is fucked up, insecure, neurotic, and <laughs> what's the E? I don't know. Emotional. But we're fine, you know, like we're holding it all in. We're fine. We're not. So that's where we really got to get honest with ourselves. Um, and I appreciate your honesty in the group. Um, because if we just go about like nobody will ever know, yeah, you know, and that's what happens. Um, you beat yourself up because you know, <laughs> you know. So I was going to say, I think that's why I've been avoiding the journaling. Like I journaled. <laughs> for many, many years, mm -hmm. all during my struggles, like with my husband and everything. And I ended up burning all those at one point a few years ago. But now like I got all this shit going on uh -huh. and it's like, I just don't even want to <laughs> go there. And I know if I start this, I'm gonna go there. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm, I think that's what I've been doing. Anyway. Right, well. I would encourage you to go there. <laughs> yeah. You can pick me up when I like fall <laughs> down. We, let's if you go there, let let me know and let's schedule a uh, a conversation. Let's have a little one on one because, like uh, Linda mentioned, it it's a brain dump. I know it helps me tremendously to get it out of here, onto here. It kind of frees me up a little bit. I see things differently. Like when I've written before, it's like what, what dumped out on paper is like, oh my goodness, wow. You know, um, in a good way. Sometimes it's like, that. it's that self-awareness of things that like, okay, I'm finally admitting it on paper. Um, but I would encourage you to do that. Because <laughs> it's obviously not doing good in your head, right? Yeah. Sonia, got any thoughts on accountability? Oh, had to figure out how to unmute myself on the phone. Um, yeah, well, I know that I do better when I have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know for me, when I um, when I was doing uh, the Team Beach Body, and I was part of the group, and I was really active, and I was a coach, and so for me, actually, the being a coach piece was um, helped me stay super accountable. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just because I was out there and this is what I'm doing and I, I had results and I was working really hard and it, but it was all based on like the aspects of this program that are, um, you know, getting up every day, taking a picture of my workout um, and doing the tracking, staying really consistent with the containers. And, and the truth is, I mean, what I've found is when I do all these things, that are laid out in the in this program that I get the results and it's really quick that you get the results and um, my experience is that I also need to um, for me I need it to be from a um, foundational level like I need to for me I think it was more of a superficial mm -hmm. um, you know uh, um, approach to begin with. And so it was really easy for me to get back into um, little by slowly over time, incorporating, um, I shouldn't say incorporating, um, letting go of some of those, those things that we do. And so, and without the accountability, I'm not, um, I mean, just everything you guys have said, like it just, it's really easy to just, you know, have one more soda pop or, you um, you know, not go do a workout today or, you know, it's just, so I, I, I am very clear that the accountability is how you get results. <laughs> and, and for me, I've done it in other areas of my life. You know what I mean? And I have spent this last year really trying to more focus on last couple of years on the spiritual accountability and like really getting really, um, a foundational change. I want everything as I move forward to be from a space of something that I can maintain, something from with a spiritual grounding that is then maintainable. Um, and so that's, I feel like I've kind of gotten to that place now where I need to, you know, um, start incorporating 
that into my health and wellness and fitness. Cause I'm at a point now where I've been, I I've never been, I was a soda drinker when I was younger and the last six months I've just been like, I started with diet, diet sodas almost every day. And then I was like, I can't have aspartame. And now for a couple of weeks, I've been doing regular sodas mixed with diet sodas and it's where it's like two a day. And I've gained, I mean, just in the last month and a half, I've gained an additional five pounds just from sodas, <laughs> which yeah. I always, you know, I always knew that. And I always would tell people that, but like to have the actual experience is really pretty amazing. Um, and so yesterday was my first day without any sort of soda. Um, but I think, so the goal that I think I will have, so less about what I'm going to remove and more about what I'm going to add, right? I'm just going to increase my water. I think if I focus on increasing my water, I'm more likely to make a water choice. So I'll track my water next week. And when I do that, then of course, some of the other stuff will fall off because I'm more focused on the water. Um, and so, yeah, that's huge. Cause like, I, you know, I sell skincare as you all know. And like, for me, having healthy skin is really important. And it's really interesting to see, um, just in all my photos, like no matter what I do, like when I'm drinking soda instead of water, it's awful sleep and, and water are really important for skin. I'm learning this year. <laughs> yes. Love it. Um, so I wrote down, what do you want to do for you? That's important. I love that. That's um, the, going from the superficial to the spiritual, to the, that inner, inner work that we're doing and um, doing something that you can man, maintain. So um, like I mentioned, if we go from one zero to 100, we're trying to go from zero to 100, that gap, just our brain can't compute <laughs> and especially based on what you've been doing at zero is not going to get you to 100 so our mind is just not on board so we have to do smaller things so um and i love the concept um and i posted about this it's not about removing things you know or try to change your thought of process about i gotta cut this out um i can't do that it's like you know what can you add so my post was um and i shared it instead of cutting out sugar, how about adding more vegetables, adding more, you know, water, adding more movement. Um, and then also, um, gosh, I hate it when that brain farts like that. <laughs> but, um, and this thing that I've been saying a lot lately is just like getting back to basics. Like just with that mentality, um, we're not trying to do all these fancy things. We really are just getting back to basics you know, sleeping well, um, self-care, moving your body, uh, eating well, drinking more water. It's just the basics, right? So we're getting to that. Um, so keep that in your mind. I'm doing, I'm just getting back to basics. I'm not like trying to do this advanced stuff. Okay. Um, Sheila, did you have something to say? I seen you popped in there. You're in the car. If you can safely unmute yourself. Yeah. Um, so I have, I've just really enjoyed listening. Um, oh boy. As far as I, I really related a lot to both what Karen said and to what Sonia said. Um, and, um, as far as like adding any additional thoughts, um, I don't know if I can really um, add anything um, from my head right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty scattered um, okay. and not focused, but I, I did want to just shout out to, to Karen. Um, I, I am really in the same place with you right now and or I don't know not from necessarily the same for the same reasons or whatever but um 
I'm going to take your advice that you gave Karen and work on my self relationships next week. Cause I've been off and on with my journaling. I thought that was really good advice. Um, and, um, anyway, um, I don't know. I've just heard a lot of really good things. I liked adding stuff rather than taking it away. What Sonia said. And anyway, um, I don't know. I've just had a lot of going forward, going backwards, going forwards, going backwards. Um, and this group and accountability has been really important. I know when you do what what this program offers, it works very well. It's just doing it. <laughs> and uh, it's just doing it. And it's like, what is going to get me to do it? And sometimes I make it really complicated and it's hard to make myself do it. Um, and I've, unfortunately, I've had a lot of roadblocks and, and sometimes it's me. So some, I don't know. Sometimes I have to get myself out of the way. So how do I get myself out of the way to do it? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, make this call end. <laughs> Well, I'm sure glad you're... you guys are ladies are here. Yeah. Thank you, Sheila. Oh, lovely. I'm to construction. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Wait, everyone for the pilot for... card. Um, I appreciate everybody's input, feedback, suggestions. I've got notes written down. Um, and so again, accountability conversation. So if Deb's your coach, schedule them with her. Um, and if I'm your coach, um, I want to schedule them with you. So I'm going to be sending out emails to, for, you know, to be able to do that or um, texting you guys. Um, and then just to end the call with this, I don't know if you've noticed, but in the tracking, when you go to track, like where you do your Shakeology, up at the top is my progress. So it's a new tab that they have that makes it so much easier to see your progress. Um, and to let, you know, if you're tracking, um, so it, and it, you know, it shows you how many shakes, how many workouts, which, you know, the numbers, no, not, not really what's important. Um, but you know, and then you can also, it'll let you see your photos. So, um, if that's helpful for you, use that. If it's hindering for you, don't look at it, <laughs> you know, but it's a tool that's there for you. So. All right, ladies, um, I do want to do a quick um, boomerang. And so let me get that going here. Okay, so wave. Good morning. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you, ladies, for being on the call. Um, I'll post this in the group if you want to re listen and um, stop recording.